Just a few days after the recent face-off with the Chinese army in Taiwan, India yesterday successfully carried out night trials of one of its most potent nuclear missiles, the Agni-5. Although the test was done last evening, the Defence Ministry made it clear that it was not a knee-jerk reaction aimed to warn China as a consequence of the recent skirmish and that it was pre-planned. This was the ninth test firing of the Agni-5, which was first tested in 2012. With this successful test, Agni-5 has moved closer to being inducted in India's Strategic Force Command. In the backdrop of this test, we take a look at Agni-5, its history, its capabilities and what it means to have such deep, penetrating missiles in India's arsenal. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. The word Agni translates to fire. The first of the missile in the Agni series, that is Agni-1, was developed under the IGMDP, that is Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, and was tested in 1989. Agni-5 is the most advanced surface-to-surface -surface indigenously built ballistic missile. It is a three-stage, solid-fueled, 17-meter-tall missile and is capable of carrying a nuclear warhead of about 1.5 tons. This missile is capable of striking targets at ranges up to 5,000 km with a very high degree of accuracy. Agni-5 can bring almost the entire Asia, including the northernmost part of China and its capital Beijing, as well as some regions in Europe and even Africa within its striking range. Though officially an ICBM needs to have a range of at least 5,500 km, the Agni-5 is India's closest contender for an ICBM. Also, unofficially, several reports suggest that it can hit targets as distant as 8,000 km. It has a launch weight of 50,000 kg and can carry a nuclear warhead weighing 1,500 kg and this makes it one of the most potent missiles in the country. Apart from Agni-5, the Indian armory of the Agni series includes Agni-1 with a 700 km range, Agni-2 with a 2,000 km range, Agni-3 and Agni-4 with a range of 2,500 km to more than 3,500 km. The missile is guided by a ring laser gyroscope based inertial navigation system. The inertial navigation system uses a computer, rotation sensors and motion sensors. It continuously calculates the orientation and velocity of a moving object without an external reference. Agni-5 is also equipped with another guidance system called the MINGS, that is Micro Inertial Navigation System. The MINGS is a backup guidance control system to Agni-5. All these systems are capable of contacting the satellite navigation systems, both Indian and non-Indian. The first two successful flights of Agni-5 in 2012 and 2013 were done in an open configuration. The third, fourth and yesterday's launch was done from a canister. What this essentially means is that this missile can be launched from road and rail platforms making it easier to be deployed and launched at a quicker pace. The canisterization, which is an encapsulated system in which the missile is stored and launched from, also gives the missile a longer shelf life, protecting it from the harsher climatic conditions. While India is among the handful of nations with or with an almost ICBM capability, the next generation of the missile, Agni-6, which is under development, is expected to have a range of around 8,000 km. Agni-5 is a fire and forget missile which once fired cannot be stopped except by an interceptor missile. It has been developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. The IGMDP was the brainchild of Dr. APG Abdul Kalam who aimed at making India self-sufficient in the field of missile technology. The program has five missiles that is Prithvi, Agni, Trishul, Nag and Akash. India began testing the Agni series of missiles in 1989 with the first test for Agni-1. At that time, only the US, the erstwhile Soviet Union, China, France and Israel had IRBM technology. Since then, DRDO labs have continued to work on it, bringing the latest available Agni-5 to its present capability. With China boasting of testing hypersonic missiles in last few years, this successful test is crucial for India to signify Beijing that India too has missiles that can reach and destroy Beijing. It is also a clear signal for Beijing to stop flexing its muscles and to refrain from unwarranted provocation. The Agni-5 project is aimed at boosting India's nuclear deterrence against China, which is known to have missiles like Dongfeng-41 that has ranges between 12,000 to 1,500 km. This was all about Agni-5, the strategic ballistic missile tested by India yesterday. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.